Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are once again dialing from all over the globe. It's good to see the familiar faces and a couple of new faces as well. Make yourself comfortable. Just have this moment, especially as a gift for you. We've got an, uh, an interesting uh, session uh, planned for today. And um, I will uh, hand it over to our uh, beautiful host, uh, Inken. Thank you very much, Walter. Yeah, um, <laughs> special session today. We are waiting for our special guest to join. But we uh, improvise a little bit and I start right away. And uh, when Tashi is um, joining us, we, we just shift to him. I'm, I'm deeply grateful in any case that he um, is making it to be with us because at the moment he's in Greece and uh, is a very busy man. <laughs> um, so I, I was happy that he said he could join us, but we, we keep, keep it with the flow and, and I just start with my introduction and we see where we go. So welcome to my session today, guys. I'm very excited to go on this special journey with you, which um, is um, a specific topic um, for me, shadow work. Um, I had a lot of different mentors that touched on this topic and I collected over the years, um, yeah, the, the tools for shadow work. And, um, it has helped me in a tremendous way. And that was the reason basically why I decided that I wanted to share with you. So um, in general, it's nothing to be scared of because um, <laughs> most of the people, they, they actually, they, they don't like to look at their shadow because it's something because it's that something dark side. What was that now? Is everybody is muted guys? Huh? Is Tashi here? Mr. Tashi, there you are. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Good to have you. So there he is, our special guest. Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> we, are, we are super happy to see you again. Tashi is the second time with us. And it's, it's really an honor to have you with us and that you're sharing your beautiful, powerful mantras and support me in my session today, which is uh, going to be the perfect foundation, guys, for our shadow work that we are doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would like to hand it quickly over to you, Tashi, and you can introduce yourself again for those who haven't met you yet and tell a little bit about yourself. And uh, yeah, then um, you are gifting us with your beautiful mantras. And uh, after you hand it back to me, if we could do it like that, that would be perfect. Yeah? Yes, sure. Okay. Then I mute myself and Wonderful. we are all yours. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ingen, for um, connecting me with uh, all of you. Um, thank you. Uh, I wanted to I see some um, Barbara, I know. Lynn, I know, and Walter, <laughs> yeah, and I see Kema, and Chris, and um, so there are many more uh, who has who is participating. Um, first of all, I wanted to uh, greet and um, uh, to bring luck of my presence that uh, during this uh, pandemic lockdown time. So um, I hope uh, our this uh, meeting will also um, uh, enrich our life uh, to free from obstacles uh, and meet with happiness and source of happiness. Certain mantras that I will recite, um, um, these uh, Tibetan prayers that we do in Tibetan schools and the monasteries, which I will um, recite later. Uh, and um, I'm also a Tibetan artist also, and uh, my art, and I've connected um, in the meantime, we kept in contact with Ingen and wonderful, um, um, you know, talks we have always and always talk about uh, light warriors. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's very nice. The warrior sounds like a spiritual warriors, you know? Like uh, in Tibet, we have these uh, Tibetan religious kings like Songzhen Gampu, Tizong Dilzen, Tura These were the warriors, they're the emperors. You know? 
it sounded like this uh, when you, when they when you talk about spiritual uh, warriors, light warriors. Then uh, we had those. Uh, Tibet is like one of those giant country. Like I was telling England, it's five times Germany. <laughs> Tibet the, itself, the the country, and now it's occupied by China. Uh, but uh, uh, Tibet and India, China itself, uh, Japan, Mongolia, some of these giant countries who had emperors. You know? So mostly kings, right? Small kingdoms. And uh, Tibet has this giant uh, culture that starts from actually Afghanistan are the borders, Mongolia, Pakistan, India, I mean, it goes all the way to Burma, you know? all the way that is like over, uh, that Tibet produces even that uh, uh, third, third pole, you know, like um, it means the one third of the world population, the water, pure water comes from Tibet and all that. So, and it had a wonderful uh, Buddhist culture um these yeah emperors these emperors they brought buddhism to tibet and and tibet um at the moment tibet is really in uh, in danger you know so we have um the 70000 calculation from the tibetan government in exile makes the 70000 70, tibetans who are actively could work for my for our country, so um, that's very less, you know, compared to our enemy, who is Chinese, <laughs> who's such big. Uh, so, and in my small contribution that I have opened a Tibetan museum in Holland, with great support from from the world and especially the Dutch people, well, their mentality that's so open minded, and a museum of Tibetan contemporary art happened in in. Holland in Emin. If you ever feel like any of you wants to come and uh, visit, I'll be uh, be my guest. And uh, we have over uh, 50 Tibetan artist works. And uh, we are also making programs for Western artists who can uh, also show their work that are related to spirituality or light warriors. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, artwork that is inspired by Tibet and its culture. So uh, yeah, my um, you can also become supporters or like, that's my small contribution to my country to save the culture. So I, I, for me, it was, um, I became a monk recently to, you know, like I was same like you, long hair, careful for my hair and all that. <laughs> but then, you know, like a Buddha left everything behind. You know? So uh, I was also able to uh, follow that path. And, um, and then um, I'm, so I'm artist at the same time, Tibetan monk. So uh, that's a little bit of my story. Yeah, Wouter shared in the chat now the links to, to your museum so everybody can have a look at it and find out more also about the workshops that you are doing. So um, it's shared in the chat for, for those who are interested. And uh, yeah, thank you yeah. for sharing. Yes, we have um, support from the, Tibet, uh, the Dutch government. We get subsidies and local uh, team like over 25 to 30 um, uh, volunteers there. So we are quite a growing big team. So please uh, look at it and uh, join us and support us. <clears throat> and then uh, I would like to offer um, prayers to, um, to all of us to, to feel strong and um, to deal with this difficult time. Uh, this pandemic, COVID did not leave any of us behind. <laughs> or, so, uh, um, one minute, this sound. If I, if I talk, do you hear it? No, 
this way. <clears throat> it's fine like that. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> So um, I will uh, recite Sangha Chodha 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 uh, work for reborn in this world again and again and then unless every living beings be free from suffering and find enlightenment that kind of prayers will go on so during that time you can um, try to um, yeah focus and you know, it's also of course it's very good for ourselves yourself individual and for everyone and you can dedicate these prayers also to your friends and who are at this moment in hospital. And we all have almost everyone has witnessed sudden death, right? During this COVID time. So you can dedicate uh, to your friends. Sangye Chedan Sokhi Sonam La Janjo Chedage Jenzo Gebe Sonam Dola Benje Sange Dobara. Emma 
से ते
So these prayers are written by Tibetan masters, Arhats, the Indian Mahasiddhis. So they are very powerful. And simply, I'm sure many of you have known the Om Mani Pemaho Mantra, which you can recite all the time. And even your friends or people who are dying during these moments, you can recite them, help them to recite these. They will uh, bring enormous benefit for yourself and people who are sick or who are passing away. And that's my um, contribution. Thank you so much for, uh, for this uh, beautiful um, uh, moments. And uh, um, I thank you for joining the meditations. And um, I will soon uh, leave this um, platform because uh, I'm traveling. I'm in Greece at the moment. <laughs> Um, some for some work, and uh, and I'm back in uh, music in Holland. I will in next week. I'm back back to Holland, and I see that you are from different parts of the world. And um, I'm also traveling a lot around the world with my art, painting exhibitions, and all. Uh, so if you feel like inviting me to some exhibitions or small workshops and all, I'm available. Thank Is you that... so much, Tashi. Yes. Really, again, um, with all my heart, thank you that, that you joined us, that you gifted us with your time, although I know you're very busy right now. It's, yeah. it's always very special to be with you and to have you in this space and um, that you're, you're gifting our, our collective uh, with your gifts, you are really, you're so talented. And um, honestly, um, you have so much to give in this world. I, I am always grateful when, when we can support you a little bit from our side. So um, yeah, we, we keep always, we are always connected. I let you go now. Thank you very much for being here. And um, yeah, yeah Thank much you, love to you. Bye bye. Best wishes. Bye. Bye bye. So guys, <laughs> welcome back <laughs> to me. I hope you, yeah, you all enjoyed and benefited from, from this uh, special moments with Tashi. Um, I think honestly, yeah, it's, it's really unique um, what you can receive from him. And uh, I felt it was a, a really a nice match with what I'm, I'm planning to do with you today because yeah, we, we um, will do some shadow work, not deep shadow work, but uh, I want to give you a flavor, a, t a little bit of taste, um, how it's feeling when, when you pour light on your shadow and when you connect with your shadow and invite your shadow in. So like I said in the beginning, um, yeah, I, I collected kind of tools over the years from different mentors that I'm very grateful. And, and I just felt I always had this um, tremendous impact in my life. So um, I really felt called to share this with you. And um, it's, you know, it's so funny when like I deal with a lot of people through my MS story um, and um, it's always that like um, the shadow work is like for the people like a big black hole that you can fall into and you don't want to look at it. You don't want to touch it. It's, it's really something that people keep, keep distance to. No? And um, 
for me, like through, through my mentors, I, I learned to look from a completely different perspective and that it's like, it's actually, it's not this big black hole. It's the beautiful night sky that we have that is dark, but that is like, if we understand how, how to process um, our shadow and how to use it, it's, it's actually, and that comes from the Qigong. In the, in the Qigong, we say that we should be super grateful for our shadows um, because they are actually our fertilizer to grow a beautiful garden, you know. So it's, um, it's really the, the, the perspective. And the funny thing is when we are in transition, when we are, we are all people, all of us, I'm sure everybody here is on a journey of personal development, of, of growing. And the thing is what happens when we do this personal development growth, when we do our inner work, it's like, you know, we move stuff. <laughs> we, our frequency is rising because we want to start to create. We want to be creators and bring good in the world and we want to grow ourselves and we want to expand and improve. But the thing is like, it's, you know, it's this, image of then our energy starts to move and it starts to move and then we come underneath the table and what we keep collecting over the time and hiding there and storing there is our shadow side basically that we we often yeah we we don't want to look at it but the thing is if we don't pour love on it pour light on this shadow it's keeping us to go next level. We are not able to upgrade. We are not able to go next level if we don't take these parts with us. And if we don't, yeah, if we don't accept what is there in just thinking positive, 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 we, we are not able to move to the next level. We are not able to transform the way that we want to transform if we don't work on our shadows and that's why i feel this is a huge topic is very very important and often people neglect this because yeah because they are somehow scared to touch it because they are they have this kind of repel feeling frequency i i leave it there i don't touch it i don't open that box i, I keep it in that corner so um Overall, it's like, if you know the tools, how to deal with your shadow, um, how to invite your shadow, it's, it's a, yeah, it's, it's like a booster. It's a booster for your transformation. Um, so today, <laughs> because of Tashi, my time is a bit limited. So I had to adjust my normal ritual. Um, and I created like a, a shorter session. Um, this session is basically um, in, in layers. The first layer is that we, we really deeply connect to our body. And it's very, very important that we do a proper grounding. And uh, regarding your breath, um, it's, it's very simple for this practice because it's just like, you, you do a deep inhale through your nose, in and out through your mouth. So it's not very complicated. Like, you know, when I teach you the, the other types of breathing with the Qigong, this one is very simple. It's really the only thing that is important is that you deep breathe, it, that you make a deep breath, that it needs to really go deep. It's like the, the belly chest breath. Don't just breathe here in the top, in the chest really load yourself from the belly to the chest and release and, and do it in a, in a deep way. Yeah. That's the only thing that um, you need to keep in mind regarding your breath. The rest I will do, I will guide you. And it's a journey that we do together. It's a slow journey. It's a, it's a safe journey. Um, it's, it's really a gentle way to introduce you to this topic. Um, but um, I think it will give you already kind of a, a taste um, what the shadow work means and what it can, can give to you. 
Um, okay, so <laughs> take a sip of water. That's very important. Water, 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 hydrate, hydrate. I just taught myself one second because <laughs> Tashi uh, just uh, rearranged my order a little bit, but okay. So I switch off my video and I ask you all to get comfortable. Sit down in a comfortable position and um, if you can have uh, something softer below your bottom not so don't sit so hard just something that you can gently sit on some cushion or if you have something available and one thing that i would like you to start now is that um, if you like you can start to close your eyes already and you put your hand on your heart space And you take a deep breath inside. Inhale through your nose, like I said, and exhale through your mouth. As long as you can. Keep breathing deep in and out. There's nowhere else where you need to be right now. Trust that you will receive exactly what you need to receive from this session. Set the intention to be present, open, and allow yourself to move through this. Take another deep breath in and out through the mouth. We will use the energetic power of our hands now as your hands are directly connected to how you create, how we manifest, how we bring love into the world within, without. Keep your eyes closed all the time and just keep breathing deep. Slowly in through your nose and out through the mouth. One last time in and out. Now you concentrate on your body. How does it feel right now? Is it comfortable? Is your seat warm from your body already? Listen to your breathing and feel into it.
feel your body sinking deep into your seat. Deeper and deeper. Relax. Now imagine the sunlight shining lightly on your face. Shining on your body, bring your hands slowly up to your mouth and fill your palms with your warm breath. Breathe in. And out in your palms. In. And out in your palms. Feel how the palms get warmer from your breath and keep breathing. Now with a little distance, you hold your hands in front of your eyes. Can you feel the energy? Now you start to rub your palms against each other. Up and down. Heats between your hands. Raise the energy level up and down, up and down, until you feel that your hands become one. And now you lay your hands on your cheeks. Can you feel the energy? Feel it. And keep breathing in. And out. And now you lay your hands on your heart space. Keep breathing in and out. And in and out. Imagine how you soak in the heart chi into the palms of your hands. With every breath you take, you fill your hands with the heart space. Chi strong. Now you place your hands on your lower dantian, which is below your navel. Place your hands there and breathe. This is your chi flow center. The Chinese call it the sea of the chi. And 
and you keep your hands in this position while you imagine roots flow down in the earth to deeply connect you and ground you. Keep breathing. The roots go deeper and deeper. Connecting you to Mother Earth. We are ready now. And I ask you to invite your shadow now. Keep breathing. ask you to invite the part that you avoid, that you hide, keep breathing. I'm asking you to get out the messiest, darkest version of you and put it right next to you. Keep breathing. And if you don't feel comfortable now, it's okay. It's okay. Just keep breathing and hold your hands on the lower dantian. I'm asking you to take out all the self-doubt, all the not enoughness, all the self-sabotage, and all the shame. Take it out now. Take out everything you were hiding, storing, hoarding, underneath the table and keep breathing. We are putting it right next to us. And keep your hand on your dantian and take another deep breath. And imagine now looking at it, even more smiling at it. Why are we doing this today? Because you deserve, you deserve to love all of you today. You get to accept all of you today and achieve will help you because it will embrace your shadow now. Feel that you're safe, feel that you are anchored into the earth and keep your eyes closed and imagine that you keep looking at your shadow. Now you slowly open your arms, round palms and hold in front of your chest, a ball, a big, soft, warm ball of energy. Lift your arms that they are in front of your chest and hold this ball, hold it.
and feel the energy, feel the chi. Feel it. Keep breathing in and out. And now I invite you to place your shadow inside this wall. Feel how it's merging with your blessing ball of light. You might feel tingle. You might feel strange. Keep breathing. And now to process this energy, you imagine you are holding a baby in front of your chest. Move your arms closer to your chest. Imagine holding a baby in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Soothe it, comfort it. Move yourself a little bit back and forward like you would do with a little pure light beautiful baby in your arms keep breathing Hold this baby, smile at it, love it. The relationship between you and this baby is pure, is light. Is love. Move your body in the way that you feel drawn to move now. Just allow the energy to move you. Now you start to realize that this baby is not any baby. This baby is you. It's a part of you. And it wants to return to you. Bring it slowly, gently, your arms close, close to your chest. should feel like you're hugging yourself. Like your arms are melting with your chest. 
And this baby is melting into your heart space. Place your hands again on your lower dantian. And feel the high vibration. Feel the high frequency radiating from your hands into your lower dantian, into your sea of chi. Now I invite you to repeat loud after me the sentence, I remember who I am. 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 Fully accept where you are right now. And even more, be grateful. Be grateful where you are in this moment. Be grateful who you are in this moment. Be your greatest lover, love yourself unconditional and keep that frequency to get to your next level. You did an amazing job. Be proud of yourself. There's a lot of release in here. I can feel that. Last time, I remember who I am. I remember who I am. I remember who I am. Slowly, very, very slowly, release the hand from your lower dantian and lay open palms on your legs. You should feel a huge tingling sensation in your palms. And to release a bit of just wrap your palms against each other. With the fingertips up and down and up. To release the excess of chi that we don't need, that is maybe too much. Up and down. With your fingertips over your head, over the scalp. Massage a little bit with your fingertips, your scalp. 
with your palms over your face. Massage your ears. Start to move slowly your body. Move your feet, your legs. When you're ready to come back, slowly, very slowly, open your eyes. I received a lot from you today. Thank you. You did amazing. That was wow, guys. This part of the shadow work has been a big part in my, in my healing journey. I really had breakthroughs when I understood how to cope with my shadows. I did a lot of inner work and a lot of practices, but when I started to touch this topic, I really, I was able to go in the next level of my healing journey. And nowadays it's really in my journey of my visions, what I bring, what I want to bring forward in this world. Um, this shadow work is another time, a very important part of being able to go the next level being able to transform myself into another higher version of me. So it's, um, yeah, honestly, guys, I, I, I can just speak for myself, but I feel so, so, so important to do this work um, and to find your own unique tools. This was just like a, a zip that we took out of the cup. And by the way, drink water. <laughs> <laughs> hydrate a lot a lot today after the session um yeah it's a very small small bit that i shared today with you but maybe it inspires you to to dive deeper into this topic and to to open this chapter if you haven't done so far so if somebody wants to share just one thing just one thing my beautiful beautiful love teacher <laughs> i had projected onto you only a golden shadow so when when you said you were going to teach us about the dark shadow and incorporating the shadow i thought Inca doesn't have a shadow <laughs> <laughs> um, here's to here's to three see my angel 
It's so interesting that even, you know, when we have these moments and we felt, yeah, I'm really good. I'm really, you know, I keep up the good work and I'm really, yes. And then we, we practice this one and then there's something underneath. There's still something that we, we can find and, and that, that needs to be processed. That's, it's also sometimes I feel it's not just, it's not about deleting or just sending away. It's like we need to process and we, yeah, we need to walk also sometimes with our shadow, no? So, yeah, somebody feels to, to call your, your experience or if you want to give some feedback or you have some questions, just feel free to unmute yourself. Otherwise, I know that, um, yeah, I, um, even now the hours after saying bye bye to each other, you will process, you will, you will feel a lot. And if you feel the need to rest, give yourself rest. If you feel the need to go outside and ground yourself, ground, just follow your intuition is really switched on in this moment. Just follow what you receive in this moment. 